Wafura is here in the Soroli Crisis in Rise of Kingdoms. So today, we're going to give you a quick introduction to some of what this boss can do, because although we're only 17 million power in our Kingdom 2 account, we can still battle all the way through hard mode. So let's go check it out. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, a sponsored content creator for Rise of Kingdoms. And today, we're going to show you the newest boss in the Soroli Crisis. If you like Rise of Kingdoms guides that help you get value and smash your enemies, hey, consider smashing that subscribe button for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. There are a very small number of kingdoms at this exact moment in time that have access to the Soroli event, and lo and behold, the patch has just landed, so the new boss is here. So let's review these abilities, and then I'll show you what they actually look like on the battlefield. As you can see, I've been in matchmaking for over nine minutes. It's pretty hard to get a group because there are such a small number of kingdoms that actually can even see this right now. So let's first review what these abilities do. Their active skill, direct damage factor. Worth noting, there is no area of effect damage in their main attack, so the tank can kind of stand wherever relative to the rest of your party. The next ability throws darts onto the ground. There's two darts that are going to land, and wherever they land, by the way, it's going to be the same place each time, but one of them will do damage, and one of them will be a healing dart. So when they land, you're going to take damage if you're in a small circle, but then you want to go near the healing dart and away from the damage dart. Okay, if you're near the damage dart, you take poison damage. If you're near the healing dart, you get healed. And they're going to be on opposite ends of the battlefield. The next ability is going to throw four daggers because obviously if two daggers was good, well, four daggers is most certainly better. One of those daggers, by the way, is healing and three of them are damaged. So this is going to be a fight all about positioning correctly on the map and making sure that you avoid taking unnecessary damage. Speaking of which, there are going to be rectangles that show up on the board. So much like how in Ack and Hawk you have sort of donuts you have to avoid or you just lose the fight, like you just lose if you get hit by one of those donuts. In this fight, there's rectangles. They're going to start, I believe, vertical, uh, and you'll have to avoid them going from top to bottom. And then they'll appear horizontal across the screen. There's going to be three of them. And if you avoid those, you're good to go. You get hit by those, you're basically wrecked. There are some positions you can stand where you avoid both the vertical and horizontal rectangles here to avoid taking all the damage which is definitely where we'll try to be. Then, Call of the Wild. When reduced to 25% of units remaining, enter into Wolf King form, increasing the attack by 50%, but reducing their defense by 50%. So they go into a glass cannon mode. When attacked, we'll deal area of effect damage in eight randomly chosen circular areas after a short delay that is 3,500 damage factor and can trigger every 11 seconds. At this point, you are in a race. You want to beat the boss as fast as possible because now it is doing massive area of effect damage. This is a good time for the healer to use the damage boost ability and so on. So I think I actually need to leave the matchmaking here and try an easier difficulty to even be able to show this to you. Let's try matchmaking on the normal difficulty and see what we can get here. It is worth noting that when you do different difficulties, there are different numbers of skills available. As you can see, this is available in Kingdom 2 as an event right now, and then the rest of these are 2,100 plus. So 2,101. There are a very small number of kingdoms that actually have access to this. I'm going to switch to DPS here to be a bit more of a team player. The composition of the team looks good. Let's freaking go. Okay, here we are. Remember, this is my 17 million power Kingdom 2 account. I don't have a lot of commanders and leveled up whatevers, so... We're going to do the best we can here with what we've got. Minamoto Boudica is going to be the pick. Hilarious. Okay, so we make our way onto the field. Two of our teammates haven't showed up yet. There we go. Okay, one more is in. We're waiting for the tank. Hopefully, they appear soon here. And we'll get to show you exactly how everything works. Beautiful. Ooh, Richard the First. So fancy. Okay, awesome. I'm feeling better about this already. We got Richard the First available. By the way, we made a video earlier today, if you haven't checked it out, about the patch and everything that it contained. Card up in the top if you'd like to see that. Let's do this thing, baby. Thumbs up. Let's go. Tank is in. Here we are. Okay. 
We're going to debuff the boss here, boost the damage that everybody deals. Soon, we'll see the daggers get thrown down. Our positioning here is fine. There, okay, there you see the circles where the daggers are going to go. If you were in those circles, you'd take damage. Now we need to run. If you're in the red circle, you take damage. This is a huge circle for that poison. If we're in the green circle, we are going to get healed, and we made it, which is pretty freaking awesome. Okay, we're going to debuff the boss again, making it so we deal more damage to him. And it is very risky that we're all stacked to one side. We're either going to get wrecked by poison if we're unlucky, or get a nice heal if we're really lucky. However, here come the rectangles that I was talking about earlier. I don't know what that other player is doing running all over the place. I guess we need the tank to do something to get aggro here. They haven't done that yet. Hopefully we avoid... Oh my gosh, I just got racked. 16,000 damage. I guess that could have been much worse. We're a little slow. I guess if we stuck with all cavalry, we would have had less units, but been able to avoid stuff like that. Okay, here we are. Damage buff is in. And where do we need to go? To the left. Running to the left. We'll see if we can get out of the poison and into the heal, which we did. By the way, are you noticing that we are maybe being slowed by that poison? We'll have to get a closer look at that. Here we are, back on to the boss. Team health is actually looking really good. We might actually pull this off. However, there is an enrage timer. In at least the harder difficulties, there is a limit to the amount of time you can battle the boss. And it's, yeah, okay. 480 seconds is the enrage timer. Oh boy. Get out of there, Chiskul. Am I going to avoid that? I was way too slow. I was... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You got to be really on the spot with those movements when you move so slow. Okay, here we go. We're back in. We're back in on the boss. I, I don't know if we can beat the timer. I suppose we can. I suppose we're doing enough damage here. Okay. Now, you're not seeing the four dagger configuration because we are on a easier difficulty now we're gonna run 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 go to that healing dagger yes nicely done man if you can make it to the healing dagger you're whoa holy teleportation that one march just like flew across the screen if you make it to the healing dagger you're in pretty good shape if you don't i mean you're taking a lot of damage there okay we get the damage buff going again five minutes 19 seconds left on this encounter we got to get to 25 percent to see the enrage that will be coming soon there we go. We see the... I think I don't think we need to move. Please, we don't need to move. Yes. Okay, now we got to go somewhere. Let's go slightly down this way. Now, the way that I was moving there was somewhat non-optimal. You obviously want to move perpendicular to the direction of the rectangles. That way you go not in a diagonal way through them in the longest path possible, but you go the shortest path possible. Let's boost the damage that we deal here. And here come the daggers. What do we got? Healing daggers, nice and close. Let's go. We're going to get in this healing dagger. I think we might beat this boss. I think we might actually be able to beat this boss. Boom, we get the benefit of the healing dagger. There it is. Nice. Okay. 25% is rapidly approaching. When that happens, I think the nature of this fight will change. The boss is going to start doing AoE damage. He's going to have 50% more attack and 50% more defense. We are saving everything we've got. For when he gets below that lower percentage mark. Uh-oh. Okay, he... Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. So, there's the area of effect damage. And that is insane. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Running away from the area of effect damage. This is kind of awesome. Boosting my damage. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Gotta run. Gotta run. Boom, we're safe. Do some damage. Boss down to 18%. Health of the party looking good. Three minutes remaining, looking good. I got to move this way, actually, to try to get out of that as fast as possible. There we go. Nice. With more march speed, this is e easier for sure. Boosting the damage we deal. Uh-oh, got to run left. Going to get a little bit out of our healing, but that's fine. There we go. We're in a good position there. We are receiving the healing. Excellent. Down to 12%, running again. I don't know if running is the right answer or if we should DPS through it, but I have a feeling that if every 11 seconds we were taking that damage, that we would be in some real trouble. Speaking of which, running out of the damage again now. 
There we go. Safe. Boosting the damage dealt to the boss now. Okay. Looks good. Need to move again. Holy jeez. A little bit tedious, but if you move out of the explosions, if you move out of the explosions, you're good to go. Wow. Okay. Running out of the explosion again. Victory. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Look at that MVP. I told you when Richard the first showed up, I was like, we're good. We're good. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a huge favor. Throw a like on here. Consider subscribing. We will definitely cover this on our main in a couple days, and we will crush this event on the hardest difficulty. We will live stream that literally the moment that it lands. You're not going to want to miss it, so subscribe. And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom, and thanks for watching.